Australia's national planning level for international students in 2025. Key updates. Australia has unveiled its national planning level for international student programs for 2025. This significant change is aimed at managing student numbers across higher education and vocational training, impacting those planning to study in the country. Topics discussed in today's video update. International student commencements capped at 270,000 for 2025. Distribution of slots between higher education and vocational training. Exemptions and categories not affected by the new plan. Stay informed with the latest immigration news. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, and share our videos on Facebook, WhatsApp, and X with your loved ones. International student commencements capped at 270,000 for 2025. Starting January 1, 2025, Australia will limit international student commencements to 270,000 for the year. This cap includes both the student visa for higher education and vocational education programs. The aim is to reduce the number of international students to pre-pandemic levels ensuring a balanced approach to student intake. Distribution of slots between higher education and vocational training. Under the new plan, 175,000 slots are allocated to the higher education sector, with 145,000 reserved for public universities and 30,000 for private universities and non-university providers. Meanwhile, 95,000 slots are designated for vocational education under the vocational education and training visa, providing opportunities for international students alongside Australian students. Exemptions and categories not affected. Certain student groups will not be impacted by these changes. Current students, students in Australian transnational programs, and those from Pacific nations, or standalone ELICOs programs will remain unaffected. Before we end the video, let's do the conclusion. Australia's new national planning level for 2025 aims to regulate international student numbers while providing ample opportunities for education. Prospective students must stay informed to navigate these updated requirements for studying in Australia. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to leave a comment below and share your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in.